Hello, very brief video. To my surprise, I got some comments on my uh, VR video saying that, well, the field of view of the Pimax is way too large. It's not comparable to what you see with actual helmet. So perhaps the G2 is more realistic with the field of view because of the helmet. Mind was blown. This is so obvious if you've been uh, inside a helmet properly just once, you would know that this is not the case. So let me provide some evidence in this picture that will prove this once and for all. Oh wait, that's that's not wrong. That's not the right picture, but it's, it's kind of funny any, anyway, isn't it? Um, so here, side shot. Looking exactly from the side, you can see there is at least 180 degrees horizontal field of view in this helmet, right? Easily. So here's another one. You can just see the eyes here. So it's also 180 degrees field of view pretty much. Um, yeah, it's not vertically that large field of view, but we're talking horizontal here. So that's another example. Weird zoom. Here's another one. It's not quite from the side, but you can see that this cutout here is sort of at 180 degrees, degrees dungaree science. Uh, so, you know, Pimax has 140 horizontally, maybe. So it's not even that. So just, it doesn't mean you need that field of view for a good experience, but it's no argument saying that narrow field of view is realistic for what you see in a helmet. It's just not true. Also, finally, I've broke, hello, hello. <laughs> oh yeah, we are back, sorry. Finally, we located the first Pimax beta tester. And uh, that's the guy. Anyway, helmet, field of view myths, debunked. Bye-bye.